Hello and welcome to Your Average Bear Gaming. I am George. It's been a while, hasn't it? I've been taking a bit of a break from the Warhammer hobby. You know, busy at work, life, all that kind of good stuff, and ultimately I just didn't have that spark. I was hoping it'd come back, and man, there is just something about this little box. More Warhammer, more often. I'm feeling a little spark. So, look what we have here. It's um this guy. Something something chaos sorcerer lord. The point is this is the this year's reward for being subscribed to Warhammer Plus. And boy what a ride that's been. I haven't logged into Warhammer Plus in months. I'm sure I'm not alone, but at least I get cool minis for for free. So it's an Age of Sigmar model and it looks pretty cool. I'm not an Age of Sigmar kind of guy, but what the heck. Let's open it up and see what's inside while I talk a little bit about maintaining your mental health. So this stuff comes in a little tray. The little instruction booklet. Couple of bases. And a single sprue. I was wondering how these would show up. Um, and it looks like all the little minions are in one solid piece. They're pretty well detailed. Uh, and the Chaos Lord looks... Chaos Lord? Yeah, the Chaos Sorcerer Lord looks pretty standard. Usual Warhammer 40k fare. By which I mean great details, decent pose, the same quality plastic that we've come to know and love. Now, I'm not going to say that I picked this model kit over the other one, that Chaos guy, because of this guy, but kind of pushed me over the edge. He looks kind of cool, kind of cute, diminutive, I don't know. But the other guys look pretty cool too. And this guy, yeah, yeah, he's wearing a robe. He's got a staff. He's a magic user. I get it the little minions, familiars, or whatever. These were cute and totally worth the pickup for me. And let's be honest, the alternative was the big chaos guy, and I just... Chaos just doesn't do it for me. Back into his box he goes, because I'm not painting this guy. Not right now. Maybe not for a while. And that's really what I wanted to talk about, at least just a little bit. Getting this box in the mail reminded me of one of the things that I really enjoy about Warhammer 40k, or, okay, Age of Sigmar, and that's, that's getting stuff. Buying stuff and having it is kind of my jam. It's shallow, it's crass commercialism at its best. I am part of the problem. I totally get it. But there is no feeling out there like buying something and having it and when you get it it's yours yay yeah the feeling kind of fades and with a hobby you can kind of rekindle it sometimes but but if i dig deep down inside this dark cavity where the thing that pumps your blood is i have to face up to the fact that the thing I enjoy probably the most about Warhammer is that, yeah, I get to buy cool things and have them. It's followed kind of closely to the feeling that I get when I finally finish painting a project and putting it away. Mind you, I didn't say the process of painting or maybe the process of building. Certainly not the process of going and taking your miniatures and playing with other nerds. Yeah, that's not my jam either. Here's the thing. I get it. I'm shallow. I've always known that about myself, at least a little bit. The thing is, we all have different motivations for spending our money on plastic crack. Some of us really like assembling, some of us really like painting, some of us like 
playing with our buddies. And all of those motivations are perfectly fine. They're perfectly legitimate. And if some days you get back from work and you just can't be bothered to paint, that's fine. Don't paint. It's a hobby. We're here to enjoy ourselves. And if it starts to feel like work, we're doing it wrong. Seriously, I have a project that, I was, that I've been working on for like two months now. Maybe two months, something like that. And for a while, I felt really bad. I was dragging my feet. It wasn't even that hard of a project. It's just Space Marines. But I got to the point where I was almost done, and I just... I lost it. I lost my mojo. And I started to feel bad about it. And then, I remembered. It's my hobby. It's not a job. I've already got one of those, and it pays way better than this. Because this... I don't get paid. I pay Games Workshop quite a bit of money every year for that little feeling I get when I open one of those boxes and when I go to the friendly local game store and I find a kit that I didn't have and you know what? I got some money in my pocket going jingling ling Yeah, I'm going to pick that up and maybe I'll paint it. I'll get to it when I get to it. And I hope that you feel the same. The hobby is yours to enjoy the way you want to enjoy it. Don't let it stress you out. If you're fed up with it for a little while, take a step back, come back. When you get that little feeling in, in your heart again, Warhammer, it'll be here for you. And so will I. I may not be putting out videos weekly, but I am posting periodically when I feel like it, and I hope you come along with me. If for no other reason, it is much less likely to be junk. So, have a wonderful afternoon. Be nice to yourselves and each other. Peace.